Hello, my name is Cadet Warren Officer Christopher Sang, and today I will be showing you how to use the new Cadet Enterprise application to nominate and withdraw from activities. So first off, you want to go to your search bar and type up cadetnet.gov.au. This will take you to a uh, Australian Government Defence page, and you want to click Members Sign In to CadetNet. Once you get to this login page, for those who have never used CadetNet before, you use your Cadet Service Number um, in your username and your Cadet1 password uh, for your password. So we just click Login. Great, so once we're logged in, we have uh, announcements, notifications, my activities, my learning, tasks, and completed tasks, and we've got a search area. So first off, we want to be able to see all our activities. So to do this, we go up to our profile here, and we move our mouse down to where it says my activities. Now once you click that, you'll be brought to a page um, that displays the activities in a month list view. Now you notice that there are two arrows here. These allow you to navigate between the months. Um, so left arrow going back and right arrow going forward. So now I'm in January 2019. Another way to view your activities is in the calendar view. So simply click that and you'll be able to see um, all the activities within a month uh, in a calendar format, which will tell you the day, um, the dates, stuff like that. Another way uh, to sort your activities is by simply clicking on this Any Tags tab, and you can filter out what activities you want. So say I only want um, firearms activities, I'll get rid of the Any Tags, and I'll click Firearms, and there you go. So we have a uh, FTE in February. If I get rid of that, and I want to see flying, I'll just click flying, and there's PEX activities in February as well. So we'll go back to any tags. So first off, we want to select an activity to nominate for. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go down to our 1 of 19 bivouac and click open next to it. So once you click open next to the activity, you'll be brought to this activity overview page. Um, and you'll be able to see the title of the activity, what the activity is about. Um, important thing here is nomination dates, so when they open and close. Um, you'll be able to nominate for a role within the activity. So if you're eligible for a role, it'll come up as green and you can just click nominate that. Um, you get activity documents um, and any notes that are provided um, on the activity overview page. Now over on this side, you'll see that you can um, nominate for the activity. I've already nominated for this activity, but uh, I withdrew just for the purpose of this video. Um, and I'll be showing you how to nominate. So before we get to that, just quickly, we have the location and contact details for the activity coordinator. So to nominate for this activity, we want to click um, here, it'll say nominate for you guys um, when you have an activity that you haven't nominated for. Um, and then you'll get your nomination is waiting approval. So that just means that it's been sent to the staff and they'll look at it for approval. It might be automatic and you'll be notified that you've been accepted or otherwise. So now that I've nominated, I get to see a download consent form and upload a signed consent form. You want to download a consent form because these are the new consent forms that must be used now. So the TR66 has been replaced with this form. So we'll click download consent form. So this is the new consent form. I filled it out just for the purpose of this video. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different to the TR66, but this is the new system that we'll be using. So once you've filled it out, uh, you can scan it and upload it to the website. So click Upload a signed consent form, select your consent form, and click Open. Now you can see it's loading, might take a little bit just to upload. Okay, so 
once you've uploaded your uh, signed consent form, if you refresh the page, you'll have a My Details tab. Now, once you click that tab, you'll be able to see your consent form under My Activity Documents. In this tab, you're also able to see um, your finances for this activity. So say you're doing a shoot and you have to pay, this will show how much you have to pay. This also will show you your attendance history. Now, if you want to withdraw from an activity, simply hover over here and click withdraw from activity. And that will withdraw you from the activity. So if you need any help using the new system, I recommend you talk to your NCOs and they will help you out. If you're unsure and you don't really want to approach them, you can actually go down to My Learning here and there's a course on how to use the new system. So you just click that, um, view all uh, learning, scroll down to CEA for cadets, and then click Cadet Enterprise Application for Cadets CEA 2, and you'll be brought to this page. Now, um, you just scroll down to Activities and Activity User Guide, and this will pretty much tell you how to nominate and withdraw. It has pictures to help. It's pretty simple to follow. Uh, if you have any problems, just do that. So, as I said, if you have any issues, contact your NCO.